Disclaimer, this content is for educational purposes only. Hacking is illegal, don't do it without permission. Hey guys, I'm Cybertronics and today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to extract metadata from photos using a tool called Exif Tool on Kali Linux. So you're gonna need two things to get started. You're gonna need Kali Linux and you're gonna need a tool called Exif Tool on Kali Linux. So once you have that, let's get started. So first things first, you're gonna open up your Kali Linux machine. If you're using any other distro of Linux other than Kali, then Exif Tool might not come installed with it. So if that's the case, you're gonna go ahead and open up your terminal and type in apt install Exif Tool, and you're gonna hit enter. Kali Linux comes pre-installed with it, so it's not gonna install it for me. But once you've got that done, you can go ahead and get started. So for me, I've already got the picture I'm gonna be using for this example. Uh, I'm using Mr. David Bombo's picture that he let us use from one of his videos in his Flickr account or somebody's Flickr account that he let us use so shout out to him he's a great resource to learn from if you haven't followed him already for whatever reason go follow him so without further ado let's get started on this you're going to go ahead and type in exit tool and the file that you want to get the metadata from uh, keep in mind i'm already in the directory where this file is in so if you're specifying a file in another directory uh different from the one that you're currently on then you're gonna have to specify the file path so for example if we weren't in home slash cali slash test then i would have to type in exit tool slash home slash cali slash test you get the idea so you can go ahead and hit enter and as you can see here guys we've got the metadata and um you can see what type of device this is this is an iphone xs max and um it's got the gps coordinates so you can geolate locate somebody's location based on a picture they took so let's go ahead and see how we could do that you're gonna go to the internet you're gonna type in gps converter on google and you're just gonna click the first one that's the one i like to use you can use whichever one you want and we're gonna go ahead and input the gps coordinates here so that we can see where this picture was taken so let's go ahead and get started on that we're gonna get the latitude which is 54 24 246 54 24 2.46 north and the longitude is 257.53 257.53.71 and west is what it was i believe so we're gonna go ahead and get the address on that so that we can go watch it on google maps for a better picture of where we're at but as you can see we've got the geolocation right here gave us the gps coordinates and um let's go ahead and copy this address select all and search it on Google and we're gonna go ahead and go to maps and keep in mind guys you can't do this over Instagram pictures or Facebook pictures so you know the, they got a little more advanced uh, ways of stripping the metadata from pictures so that you can't do this you know on pictures on Instagram and Facebook and all those websites but other websites um, you know that may not be the case so be careful where you upload your pictures and just don't leave your GPS coordinates on for your pictures anyway you should you know I don't know why people do that but whatever and uh, yeah let's go ahead and get a good look at this castle here let's see make sure that we're in the correct one so let's get a street view here oh what's going on with this thing all right and oh what's this Oh, we got a bird's eye view over here okay well it's not what we want but this is the castle guys this is the castle as you can see it looks very identical that's the castle that mr bombo was at so there you go you got the address uh we know where the picture was taken just off the metadata from the photo so i hope you learned something i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe comment and without further ado let's get up out of here